Now, the other big story tonight, those impacted by Sandy now facing even more frustration and another growing problem as they try to pick up all the pieces. The lines for gasoline downstate stretch for miles and miles. One man in Queens so desperate to fill up, he was arrested after he cut the line and then pulled a gun on a customer who confronted him. Only about 40 percent of the stations in New York City and New Jersey are operational right now. The rest either are damaged from the storm, don't have power or else don't have gas because they ran out. The gas prices for now holding steady here in the area, in some case even dropping. According to our CBS6Albany.com gas gauge, the average price locally for a gallon of gas is at $3.82. It is down four cents since last week. It's down nearly a quarter from a month ago, but that decline might not continue. As Jennifer Lukey explains, the ripple effect of what's happening downstate might make its way here. Drew McDonald is filling up gas cans to help a friend. You know, I work around the corner and uh, an employee of mine's from downstate in New Jersey and they uh, have no fuel down there. So we're over here filling it up for them so they can bring these back down there. They can't get any new gas. It's a major problem both people and distributors are having to cope with. Many of the, the gas distributors who deliver gas to gas stations and convenience stores down there have started coming up the river to try to find terminals where there is gas. The Port of Albany is open and has been for most of the week. Ships carrying fuel have been coming in and out of here. But it's not just the folks downstate looking for gas. Much of uh, the Syracuse, Utica, Rochester area is supplied by a pipeline that originates in New Jersey and brings motor fuel to terminals uh, up in central New York. Uh, that went offline on Monday in advance of the storm. It is just now getting back up to operation. Which means what's here has to be spread much further. It's possible some stations may run out as soon as this weekend. Everybody needs to stay calm. Uh, uh, you know, we'll get through this. This is a temporary situation. Uh, it may last days. It may last for, for a week or more. But it won't be nearly as bad as what they're going through downstate. There is, of course, also the concern about pricing. Whenever any kind of disaster or something, prices usually do go up. Even though the, the supply may tighten, uh, we don't expect the demand to, to rise uh, a great deal. Uh, so I'd be hopeful that, uh, uh, that prices would remain stable. Hopeful, but not positive, which means it can't hurt for all of us to get a fill-up this weekend. Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News.